What's going on guys? Welcome to the Big 3-2. Um, again, thanks for watching and subscribing. We definitely appreciate your support and all those positive comments you guys leave. And subscribing, like I said, it definitely helps us out. And I just want to say thank you before we get into today's tutorial. And what we're going to learn about is some other features that we can do. Uh, like I said, we were going to cover in the last tutorial, just didn't have time. And also working with multiple panels. So the first thing that we want to do is set up another panel that's going to hold some other items. So all we're going to do, copy and paste. If you guessed it, you guessed it right. Copy and paste, and we're just going to say P2 for panel 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to go below these lines or above them, doesn't really matter. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a checkbox. So we're just going to say J checkbox. We're going to call it CB equal to new J checkbox. And again, we can label this checkbox, do you love bacon? And uh, obviously that should be a default yes, but uh, we're just gonna you know import our J checkbox so we can use this. And now what we're gonna do is copy and paste. Pretty awesome, right? And we're gonna say, do you love cheese? Another default yes. At least it should be. And we're going to call this checkbox 2. And we're going to add these to our second panel. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to say p2.add. Again, checkbox 1. And p2.add uh, checkbox 2. Now what we need to do? Well, we need to add this panel to our J frame. If you guys knew that, then you are catching on quickly. So all we're going to do is say add. Again, when we use this add, it's referring to our J frame that we're extending for this class. And we're going to say panel 2. And now when we run this, I just want to show you guys what it looks like because it might not be your desired result. Because all we have is our checkboxes. And uh, we're like, hey, uh, didn't we have some buttons there or something? Um, I mean, I don't really care because they didn't do anything, but they should be there, right? Well, what's happening is this is printing over our other panel because our panels are located in the same place by default. So what we want to do is we want to rearrange those panels, and how we do that is when we add the panels to the J-frame. Now we can use this parameter where we just add one panel, or we can also tell where we want this panel to go. And we do that referring to the class called Border Layout. Um, and we're just going to say border layout. And then we're just going to say dot. And we can say like north, east, south, west, center. And we're just going to say for our buttons, we want those on the bottom. So we're just going to say south, all uppercase. And there we go. Oh, no. My mouse is dying on me. Come on, buddy. Make it through this tutorial for me. All right. Well, we're just going to. Okay, there we go. And now for our second panel, we're going to add this one to the top. So we're just going to say border layout. And we're just going to say north. Makes sense. And there we go. Now when we save this and run it, it should look a little bit better. Our checkboxes are at the top and our buttons are at the bottom. And again, this is our J-frame. And here's our first panel, or I should say our second panel, which we locate at the north and our first panel, which we locate at the south. So there we go. Now what you're realizing probably is like, okay, like if I was to do like a, a west border or something, how can I line these up so they aren't horizontal every time? Because that's just ridiculous. I want to like, you know, line these up vertically because lining up stuff horizontally is like so 1993. Come on, get out of here. We're in the 2011s right now. And so we're going to get into that in the next tutorial, actually, just to let you guys know if you're curious. We're in the, the remainder of this tutorial. We're just going to show, or I'm just going to show you some other things that we can add to a panel. So we're just going to create another panel. Whoops. Copy, uh, paste, panel three, and then we're going to add our other panel three, just to skip a step, kind of. And we're going to say border. Uh, layout dot center and bam our panel uh, center is lined up after we say border or panel three there cool right everyone's happy now we can set up our panel three 
without even worrying about, hey, did we add that to the JFrame or not? We don't have to worry about it anymore because we just did. Now all we have to do is just set that panel up. So let's check out some other things that we can do. We're going to say J label. See what that does. We're going to call that L. We're just going to call this label. Set that equal to a new label. Oops, a new J label. My bad. My bad. Don't be hating. And we're just going to say this is a label. And let's see what else we want to do. So just to save some time, I kind of clipped the video just so you guys won't have to watch me, you know, use my big fat butter fingers and hit wrong keys and all that stuff, mistype things, all that great, great fun stuff that you, I put you guys through. So here are some of the other things that we can do. There's still some more, but these are the ones I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Um, we have a J label, which I think you saw me make, and then a text area. Um, and all I said was this is a text area, a text field, and this is a text field. As, as well as adding all those to our third panel um, and then again our third panel is set in the center so let's check this out see what it looks like we're gonna run our application and here we go it's located in the inner area and as you can see a, a label is just you know some text on the screen we can't change it do nothing a text area as you can see here we can you know delete it change to it and you're just like uh, that's neat without the apostrophe and our text field here would be like if we're submitting a form of some sort and you just type out your name and then we have like a submit button something like that so those are some other things that you guys can get familiar with and I'll show you guys you know we'll get into these later as well defining them setting up setting up a little bit better uh, but as for now I just kinda wanted to show you guys some other things you can mess around with in the meantime so uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Again, nothing's working yet. Uh, it doesn't really do anything, but just get familiar with some of the J objects or the swing objects that we can throw in our J frame. So thanks again, guys, for watching, and your computer has a virus. Huh. Let's change that to your computer is very special. Awesome. There we go. And that should cover it for this tutorial, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Hope you have a great day, and thanks again for all your support. See you guys later.